On July 4th, 1866, Portland was an industrious and prosperous city by the sea. Weekly steamships ran between Portland and Liverpool, while the Grand Trunk Railway connected Maine to Montreal. More than 30,000 people called Portland home, including large populations of Dutch, French, and Irish immigrants. It was expected to be a day of celebration, the first Independence Day since the troops came home from the Civil War. Instead, Portland would endure the worst urban fire the nation had ever seen. In just over 15 hours, an estimated 10,000 people would be made homeless and more than a third of the city would be destroyed, causing property losses totaling more than $10 million, what would be hundreds of millions of dollars today. The fire alarm was sounded at around 5 p.m. and the fire quickly spread to Upham's Flouring Mill. By 8 p.m., the fire had spread to the Brown Sugar House and proceeded northerly through the wooden buildings between Center and Cross Street. By 10 p.m., it had spread across much of the business district to the corner of Federal and Exchange Streets. The fire then crossed Congress Street and gutted the brand new city hall, largely thought to be fireproof. By 3 a.m., the fire had reached as far to the east as the foot of India Street and as far north as Munjoy Hill. By morning, the fire ran out of fuel after reaching the open city-owned pasture land abutting Munjoy Hill. By the time it was out, the fire had leveled over 1,500 buildings, destroyed 58 streets, and laid waste to a total area of nearly 200 acres. Portland rebuilt at an astounding rate. By November of 1866, it's reported that between six and 700 buildings had already been constructed with more than 1,000 more in development. Within five years, Portland had recovered from the fire. Roads were widened and made more accessible, a new fire signal was installed, and a plan was developed to pipe in water from Sebago Lake. Portland, Maine had truly lived up to its motto, Resurgum, Latin for I will rise again.